Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a haggard sorcerer named Zarok lived in a shining castle. <laughs> One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. And when he dismissed her, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful, selfish enchantress. And as punishment, she sneered at him. Ashamed of his monstrous wish, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the monstrous world. If he could learn to sneer at the mother and earn her love in return by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain open for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Every day, like the one before. Little town, full of little bread and rolls. Waking up to say... It's party time! Yeah! Oh yeah! Viva Pinata! Viva, viva, pinata, yada, yada! There goes the baker with tray like always. Have you got anything new? Uh -huh. Not since all yesterday. That's all right. I'll borrow this one. That one? But you've read it. Well, it's my favorite. The same old places, daring sword fights, magic bread and rolls to prince in disguise. <laughs> if you like it all that much, it's yours. Oh! <laughs> wow, you didn't miss a shot, Gaston. You're the greatest hunter, hunter in the whole world! I know. <laughs> no big alive stands a chance against you. <laughs> and no girl for that matter. It's true. <laughs> Ooh. And I've got my sight set on that one. Look, the inventor's gone. She's the one. The lucky girl I'm going to mount it. <laughs> right from the moment when I met her, saw her. I said she's girl, and I fell. Here in town there's only she, who is beautiful as me. So, so I'm making plans to marry who so I'm making plans to out and marry Belle. Hello, Belle. Bonjour, Gaston. Gaston, may I have my book, please? How can you read this? There's no plan. The whole town's talking about it. It's not right for a woman to read. Soon she starts getting ideas and thinking. Gaston, you are positively evil. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not sexist. I have to get home to help my father. Goodbye. <laughs> that crazy old loon, he needs all the loon he can get. <laughs> I, I mean to intrude, but I've lost my head. And you completely lose your head. Of course, miss, you're welcome here. Well, now you've done it. <laughs> How is this boneheaded contraption accomplished? Sir, close that at once. Do you mind? I, I, I beg your pardon, it's... It's just that I've never seen a duck. Oh, you own to the boat, sir. Come, warm yourself by the fire. <laughs> oh, no, no, not the master's chocolates. <laughs> now, beautifully. Now, when Belle and I come out that door... Oh, I know, I know! I strike up the band! I strike up the band! Not yet! Oh, sorry. Howdy, friend. May I interest you in a line of elaborate suction devices, a.k.a. the finest vacuums in the entire universe? Picture this. A rustic hunting lodge, my latest kill roasting on the fire, and my little wife massaging my eggs. Oh, the little ones play on the... Viva Pinata on the Xbox 360. We'll have six or seven dozen... Dogs? No, Belle. Strapping boys like me. Oh. 
I'll have Bell for my stake. Make no mistake about that. <laughs> Where's Papa? Where is he, Philippe? What happened? We have to find him. You have to take me to him. Which is in my horse's butt. Couldn't oh, keep quiet, could we? Just had to invite him to stay, didn't we? Serve him here. Wax, sit in the master's head bunch. Oh, hello, Butch. Where have you <laughs> been so long? <laughs> hey, Joe, look who's here. <laughs> Well, what do you know? It's a butch. Girl. I know it's girl. I know. I know it. I know. I'll show you to your room. My room? But I thought... You want to wanna stay in the tower? No. Then go ahead and stay in the tower. Gosh, it's disgusting to see you, Gaston, looking so down in the dumps. Every guy here'd love to be you, Gaston. Hey! Even when taking your dumps. There's no man in town <laughs> as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite toy. No one's been inspired by you. And it's not very hard to see why. No one slick as Gaston. No one's quick as Gaston. No one's equal as incredibly slick as Gaston, for there's no man in town half as grawny. <laughs> Perfect of Stanley. Marigold, you can ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley, and they'll tell you whose team they prefer to be on. <laughs> no one's big like Gaston, nothing big like Gaston. No one's got us well clasped in his dick like Gaston. As a specimen, yes, I'm timid. In a spitting match, nobody spits like Gaston. I'm especially good at eating. When I was a lad, I ate four dozen dogs every morning to help me get large. And now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen boys. So I'm roughly the size of a boy. Goes tromping around wearing boots like Gaston. I use a band to tear in all of my decorating. <laughs> LaFou, I'm afraid I've been thinking. A dangerous pastime, I know. But that wacky old coot is Belle's father, and his that he's only so so. Now the bad coots in my head have been turning since I looked at that loony old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to Belle, and right now I'm evolving antlers. Oh, what? Lots like cuts, oh. Takes cheap shots like Gaston. Plans to persecute harmless cuts cr like Gaston. Plans to jump and be harmless more like Gaston. Plans to jump and it be spindled more like Gaston. Thought you might like a spot of tea. I really wanted a cup of tea when I just said brew there. That really made me want a cup of tea. <laughs> I thought you might like a tea. tea. Why isn't she here yet? Oh, it's no use. She's so stupid. Hey, I heard that! What? <laughs> Your Grace! Your Eminence! It's your Grace! I thought I told you to come down for dinner! Ish! <laughs> I could be wrong, but uh, th that may not affect bees. If she doesn't eat me, then she doesn't eat me at all. Remember what the master said? Because I sure don't. Oh, pish I'm not about to let poor China go hungry. Fine. Glass of wax, crust of peach. Bugsworth, I am surprised at you. She's not a prisoner. She's our prisoner. She's not a prisoner. She's our dinner. <laughs> but what is dinner without a little 
B Ow B B B B B B B B B B B Bravo that was wonderful Now then if I may draw your butt mademoiselle I don't usually leave the asylum in the middle of despicable believe I've got my heart set on marrying Belle, but she needs a little marrying. Everyone knows her father's a tick. He was in here tonight, raving about a braving in a castle. Maurice is despicable. I'd want Maurice is Belle would do anything to keep him from being a bad dude. <laughs> yeah, even marry us while clapped in his gym. Oh, that is despicable. <laughs> I love it. May I help you? I've come to lecture your despicable father. Maurice! Tell us again, old man. Just how big was the bee? I, I, I'd say at least eight. No, more like eight feet. <laughs> well, you don't get much crazier than that. The mist through the woods, through the darkness and the shadows. It's a nightmare, but it's one beautiful nightmare. Say a prayer, then we're there at the drawbridge of a bridge. And there's some castle truly terrible inside. It's a beast. He's got antlers. It's a sharp one. Massive biceps to kill a hair for the feet. You do this. Bring your children, bring your noise, take your chance and your lies. Save our village and our lives.